It's kind of like smoking cigarettes, too. When I smoke cigarettes, like, it's almost like I knew the whole time that, like, I was doing it, and I started doing it because I wanted to fit in. You mm-hmm. know, it was, like, the cool thing to do, so I did it, and I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. Like, I'm smoking. But, like, at a certain point, you're like, wait, <laughs> what the fuck? What? And it's totally based on, like, like social cues. I think that's totally true because as soon as I was removed from an environment where it was, like, the normal thing to do, all of a sudden, I was like, yeah, quitting is not really even hard now because it's like the sh- the social triggers are such a big part of it and, like, the routine is such a big part of it. And, like, there's a there's a culture around it. And once you remove yourself from that, like, I've told the story before of how I was able to quit, but, like, I smoke, I don't even know how many years, five, six, something like that. And then I went to, I switched to the e-cigarette and not even switching to the e-cigarette, like, thinking... I'm now going to use this to quit the old cigarettes, but I just smoked the e-cigarette like kind of with the the old cigarettes for a little bit, and then mm-hmm. I stopped smoking the old ones and kept smoking the e one. And again, I wasn't smoking the e one thinking like I'm going to use this for a while and then quit. I was just smoking it because I was smoking it. I didn't even plan on stop uh, stopping, you know, using it. But then after a while, I got too lazy to keep going to the store and get the e-cigarette, so I was down to nothing. And since I was down to nothing and I wasn't in an environment like I was in college or high school where like smoking was a thing, it became like, it was like, it's real, it was relatively easy to like quit and stay off of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like so much of it, so much of what we believe and what we do, it's just so contingent upon like, well, what kind of a culture are you in? What kind of a society are you in? What the fuck is everybody else doing and all that stuff? Yeah. No, you're right. A lot of shit is routine. I wake up every morning and it's like instantaneously I go to my phone and it's like Instagram. You know, like, yeah, and it's just yeah, like, yeah. do that shit every day that like, I got to just wake up and not do that shit. And eventually it's like, you slowly start to pull back. Like, yeah, but I that's mean, any addiction. Yeah. But it's like some things though, like some things it's just, it's annoying to look at from the outside because it's like, well, that's not fake. That person's just doing it to do it at this point. Like what we were talking about with music, but mm-hmm. other things it's like, as long as it started based on something that made sense, then I'm I'm totally for it. Like you enjoy Instagram, so you started mm-hmm. doing it with Instagram. And it's not like it's, there's no big downsides to it. You're just doing it. You know what I mean? So I'm actually That's kind true. of I'm I'm not like against that kind of scheduled, you know, routine mentality, but it's just you always want it to start with something that makes sense. So like you always want it to start with like like working out, for example. Like, oh I go to the gym on this day, this day, this day, and I don't break that and I do it and it's a good thing to do. And then you just stick with it. And like eight months in, you might not even remember why you started or how it unfolded, but it's a positive yeah. thing. So it's like, okay, you know what, this works. But it only becomes annoying when it comes to like pop culture stuff, you know, or just bad habits like smoking mm-hmm. or what kind of music you like. You know what I mean? Like there's different levels of it and different gradations of it. And I'm actually in favor of it if you're doing things that are, you know, that, that you actually enjoy. Like I wish I had the time where I could like one day a week at the same time, you know, I go and I hit golf balls. Or, you know, if I had, I wish we had a, a card game that was a regular card game, you know what I mean? Like stuff like yeah. that, I'd start it and it would become routine, but it's a positive routine. So I'm not, I, I wouldn't judge that as negatively as somebody who's just, you know, going through the motions to try to fit in to do something.